One thing I've come to realize since running my own company and hiring in people, and I've noticed this when I was in my own wrestling career in WWE and all that stuff before I retired, but definitely running the whole damn thing and having people you know, let alone family, it's all out chaos. You are never going to get them all on the same age. And my family has been so dysfunctional as of late, given I have six members of my family here that are all in this company, and I had to throw this match together because they all wanted their own individual matches, and they can't stand this guy. And they want to go after this, and they want to do this. And I'm like, you know what? Screw all of it. You're all going to the same match. Deal with it there. Like, my God. David and Billy were a tag team last year. Literally, Billy said, screw Ken Shamrock, who was one of his trainers, and joined him, and they just ransacked the tag team division, and then just recently returned as a team in this season. And then after a couple of losses here and there, David kicked him to the wayside, said he was the weak link, says he doesn't need him, and he's been trying to make his life a living hell. Billy is pissed off because they had the hell MMA style match back at Virtual Solution, and he lost because of a damn spin out power bomb, which has nothing to do with MMA, and he doesn't know how the hell David won off of that. It was MMA punches and kicks and grapples and submissions. And he's been not letting up on David since. They wanted a rematch. And no, I'm like, I'm going to come up with this idea called Family Warfare so my whole family can go in there, kick each other's asses, and hopefully they can come out better on the other end. And this is actually, outside of a few house shows in recent, you know, weeks and months, since his first appearance screwing over Luke back at whatever the hell show it was. Now I can't keep up with this crap anymore. My family is making me so confused. This is technically Antonio's, my cousin Antonio's, debut match here in CKW. And... He says he's going to make a statement here tonight by taking down the whole family and he's been targeting Luke because he feels Luke is a disgrace to the family here in CKW. Luke is not going to accomplish anything and he thinks way too highly of his own self and that he is going to be the future of the family here in CKW. Billy, walking down this ramp, has his eyes set straight on David. Remember, folks, this, and, and <clears throat> so like I said, we have Billy and David wanting to get at one another, Antonio going after Luke, and then Luke in retaliation wanting to go after Antonio, and then Patrick and Jesus not settling, apparently, everything at the cage match back at Virtual Solution, especially Jesus, who is pissed that he lost after, first off, it's a pinfall in the cage match. I don't know who in the hell allows that. I don't know why my company allows that behind the scenes. I'm the owner and I don't allow it and it still happens. <coughs> and he got a moonsault and then pinned him. And here comes Patrick. Like, damn. Trying to keep up all this crap is going to make me go mentally insane. 
And to be fair, Jesus is not going to let up on Patrick after losing that cage match, but Patrick still wants to get his hands on Jesus because we still have Crazy Lonely out on an injury after that world championship match got interfered by Jesus, who had his eyes set on Patrick because he blames him for all the stuff in TPW or whatever, and then he was out of pro wrestling, then he got into amateur and collegiate wrestling. Almost into the Olympics. Changed up his style, went from a high flyer to a freaking freaking Olympic wrestler. And and Patrick's not gonna be happy until he could take out Jesus for good, apparently. Isn't family great? My god, I love family. Especially when they wanna kill one another. Damn. And this all in the home state. We're not in everyone's home town, but we're in Michigan. And the fact that this match had to happen in Michigan is a weird ass coincidence when all my family's trying to tear each other apart. And Luke, I, my Luke is prepared to make a statement here tonight. He's had some top-notch matches since coming in, but I can see where Antonio's trying to call him out, not trying to, you know, say anything. He's had matches where he clear cut could have win and then somehow loses, and he hasn't, you know. My God, I really don't know anymore. And he's wearing his big giant Charizard robe. Remember, this match will only go until there's one man left standing. It's false count anywhere. Pinfall submissions anywhere in this arena. And now we have Jesus. Pop, the newly named Power Jesus. Like, he literally went through a metamorphosis, and he's be It's like he's being in talked into one air by the influencer Brian Zane from Wrestling With Regret. And now he's taking it out on everybody else because apparently he was that mind-controlled. But he said he's not going to let up. You know, he says even a win here tonight isn't going to settle it between him and Patrick. Damn, the fans here are in for one big treat. My God, we got people just walking around outside the ring. <clears throat> and here we go. Family warfare starts now. <clears throat> And we got we got everyone going after exactly who they wanted to go after. We had Antonio and Luke, and now it's mixing up a little bit as, pa as Patrick goes after Billy. It's anything goes. Weapons allowed. Falls count anywhere. And a freaking clothesline, taking it to Jesus by Luke and Antonio, sending a statement. And Luke does not see it coming! Damn, a stop sign in the face. And a freaking German from Jesus as Antonio's going after Billy. And a, oh, he fell back first onto the stop sign. Going for those punches. And we got Jesus going straight after. Oh, he fell on his own stop sign. We got a freaking headlock 
Oh God, sleeper hole. Oh, the referee's out. The referee, dude. So now there's no submission. Even if Patrick tapped now, the referee would not be able to see it. And it's... Oh God, Billy capitalizing on a freaking submission hold, putting him in the damn ankle lock. <clears throat> but D David with enough strength able to get out of it. Bad boy David. Oh, God. He tried to dodge him and he got caught by Jesus instead. Oh, the stop sign's in the first shit. Oh! Stop sign is based on the side of the ring. Okay, no! Patrick goes lying. That's why he calls himself Crazy Patrick. And the referee. Dude, referee on this side of the ring. One. Oh, God. That could have been a three count. The referee was able to freaking pay attention. Two. No. Oh god, he caught him, but they blew under the... Oh. oh god, ref, hello, where are you going, ref? Hello, 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 ref! Oh god, he got out of it. Double X handle telling him. Oh god, there's no submission. He's no member. Oh, dropped on the kendo stick. And Crazy Patrick going straight after David. <clears throat> kendo stick, and he drops him. Oh, God, he had enough adrenaline to get up. I don't know how these guys still have adrenaline. Oh, Lord. One, two, oh, he kicked out. And David throwing him into the damn ring. And Tony goes straight after him. Two. Oh no. Oh, he jumped right in the freaking way. Blow, blow. Damn. A cheap low blow as Luke lay in freaking agony. Rap. Hello. One. Two. Oh, he kicked out of it. He kicked out of the low blow. Oh, and a suplex. We got Billy and Patrick. We got. An elimination. Oh, damn. Antonio was the first one eliminated. Let that be known, Antonio. Look at Antonio's face. His first legit main show match. And he was taken out of commission by Power Jesus. Oh God, he has him up, uh, bow! Ref, ref, there's a pin! One, two, three. And Luke has been eliminated. Luke has been eliminated. <coughs> oh God, you going straight after David. They're the brother-in-laws between David and Patrick. Oh God! Oh jeez, oh! Jesus is not having any of that. Oh, he's got him rolling up. Oh, God, he just takes it to him. He throws him back in. David taking advantage. Shucks him right in. Oh, 
He's just beating him up with the damn shovel. Oh god, he just took it to Dilly. One, two, three. And David's eliminated Billy. He's eliminated Luke. Jesus eliminated Antonio. We're down to three. We're down to three. We're down to three. And David's just letting Jesus go to take him in. David is literally just sitting there waiting. He's waiting. He's watching and waiting. Whoa, whoa. God. He's waiting for an oh god look at he's waiting for one opponent. It looks like he's waiting for one person. Dude. And he's got a damn hockey stick. And he's going to suplex. Hey! One. Two suplexes. Oh god, he's going for the freaking hockey stick. He jacks him with the damn punch. Oh my god. Dude throws him up for another blue thunder bomb. But he couldn't capitalize on a pin. And it's down to David. It's down to Patrick. And Patrick's dazed and confused. He doesn't even really know where he's at anymore. Take down. He's telling him to bring it on. Oh god, he's putting him in on his own German suit like. Oh god, star! Jesus did not see that one coming. And he goes over! He's got the stop sign. Referee, hello. One, two, three. Dude, he just jacked him. Damn, Patrick. And, pa and the referee trying. One, two. Oh, God. It's down to brother-in-laws. It's down to bad boy David. It's down to crazy Patrick. He throws him into the ring. He's got the stop sign. He's got the stop sign. Oh! Face first onto the back end of the stop sign. He's got, but he got up. He gets the stop sign, but no! Patrick gets the kendo. Patrick gets the kendo. Patrick gets the kendo stick. He's taunting him with the damn kendo stick. But he's got the chair. He's got the chair! <clears throat> and David's retreating to the ring he's got that hockey stick he's got the hockey stick and he's telling him to bring it on oh jeez oh got the kendo stick the kendo stick the hockey stick away from him oh lord oh god oh my god Oh my god, Patrick and David are both winded, are both winded and confused. My god, what in the world? These two just want to freaking beat each other up. Oh god, he hit him with the kendo stick, but he took it, he took some brass. Now, how in the world do you just take a, a hockey stick? I mean, two, three, damn, David. David walks out of family warfare, the winner, and I know for a damn fact these three little mini views are not going anywhere. I'm never gonna stop it. I think that's what took him out. One. 
He did a soup. Was that? How, I didn't even see how he eliminated him. Damn. It was a super Olympic slam off the top turnbuckle that took out Antonio. And David eliminated Billy. He eliminated Patrick, Luke. He made a statement to the family here tonight. But where in the world is this going to go from here? My God.